Hello and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson and I'm so glad that you're spending time with me. This card took on a life of its own. There were so many twists and turns, or you might want to call them mistakes. Let's count them, shall we? I'm starting off with a background that I just had really no idea what I was planning. I didn't want a galaxy background necessarily, but I just wanted to lay down some color and make it kind of a night sky. So I'm just using Distress Oxides because they do blend like butter. And if you look at the pad on the right, I did get a little yellow on the orange, but it doesn't matter because it's oxide to oxide and that's okay. Plus, you could wipe it off if you wanted to. It really doesn't hurt anything. And all I'm doing is wiping those off on a cloth in between. Uh, you don't want to contaminate your Distress regular inks with your oxides, but the oxides are, you know, you can use the same thing all the time. And I do. I don't have a blender for every color. Now, this is fun. I was going to make kind of a dark ground area, which winds up not showing up in the final thing. But I just, I just didn't have any particular ideas. But you know, sometimes that's the best. It all ended pretty well, I think. And this is another one of the new colors, Prize Ribbon. I kind of use that any chance I get. Uh, the green is the one before uh, Rustic Wilderness. I'm just going to put this blue all over the place and I, I'm kind of just playing right now. And you should never really be real strict about this kind of thing. It's all pretty loose and flowing and you just see what happens because as they say, it's only paper. Now I'm going to get out my black soot and cover the top, but then I was never intending to do a galaxy. If you were to do a galaxy, you would definitely put solid soot all over the top and you would use really bright colors underneath, typically. Now I'm going to get some spots here and I'm just misting it with my mister. However, I wound up with some splops there in the middle. Uh, I didn't really like, but at the end of the day, it wound up not mattering. So, and to cover that up, I put some shimmer spray over the top. And that helps a little bit, but the blobs are blobs. And I didn't want to try to cover it up. Sometimes you make a bigger mess covering up than just letting it go. Like they say, let it go, let it go. I won't do any more. So this spray that I just showed you, this Loctite, it, I didn't realize it was repositionable and that was it. Some of them are repositionable and it's permanent later. Well, that's just repositional, repositional. One tip though is to put it in the corner of your mat or your uh, misty and your, when you're layering things, but you're going to find out why that was a mistake later. Now in order to again try to disguise those blobs. I made more blobs with the white on the bottom. I cannot win for losing but and I was having trouble just getting the white off the brush but I do a different method here in a minute. My daddy taught me to never quit. He said I didn't raise quitters. So here we go. Now we're going to try mica spray to bring some life to this background. This mica spray it is awesome. And I'm going to show you all about it here in a minute. You're not going to be able to tell much while, while it's wet. And you do have to shake it really, really well because uh, the mica kind of clumps up in the bottom. And you've got to get that mica in there because that's the part you can really see. So this time I get out my handy dandy splat brush. Uh, it's a Tim Holtz brush and it's a fabulous. You kind of work it like a harp or maybe a bow and arrow and you just, I mean, I had to actually get up and go get it, which is why I didn't do it before. Now we've got our empty tomb. And that is in the other Halloween set. I'll have all this listed below. 
and I'm going to flick some of that on because right now you really can't tell. You'll be able to tell in a little bit, but here I go, just like a harp, or like I said, the uh, if you're pulling back a bow and arrow, and I'm going to throw some flickering candle at it. This is one of my favorite colors. It comes out a beautiful gold color. These uh, mica sprays are seasonal, and I guess once they're out, they're out. I'm hoping there are still some when you're getting this video so that you have a chance to try it. But there is a little view, and, and you can see that flickering candle actually the best. But now I'm going to just show them all to you. That is flickering candle at the top. It's just a beautiful shimmer, and that's jack-o'-lantern. And you can use these all year long too. And bubbling cauldron. It's a neat color of green. Crooked broomstick. Kind of a brassy color. There's empty tomb again. And there's hocus pocus. I just bought the Christmas versions, so I'll show those soon. It makes a whole rainbow if you get them all. I wanted you to see what these looked like on black cardstock as well. Some of them show up even better on the black. The bubbling cauldron, I have a background in that that I just love so much. I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to cut it up and I don't want to cover it up. But now we're going to bring in jack-o'-lantern. Isn't that gorgeous? You know, I may have to buy two, another set of each. So here is another blunder, and if you're keeping score, you'll see it's number six. My adhesive that I didn't know wasn't permanent had the nerve to clog up. And instead of getting up, I just stuck it all on the back of that with the end of the little tube. And I put that in the corner once again. That is a super trick to make sure everything lines up. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half panel on, but look, I'm trying, I'm figuring out now, oh crap, this, I didn't get this glued. Well, maybe it's just because I didn't get a spot of glue there. Well, no, that's not what happened. Eventually the corners, you know, it were lifting up. It, it was not pretty. Now I'm putting together my little bird that's from a, another set from an, another company. I can't remember the name of it right now. I'm gluing on his little feet. Now the cool thing about this is I use Nuvo uh, drops. It's called Supernova, but Fairy Wings is the closest I could find. And when you put it on black cardstock, or I guess any cardstock, it actually can turn colors. And like blackbirds or starlings, when you look at them in different light, they give off a sheen of different colors. So I'm layering this on some purple glitter paper, and somehow I did not have footage of the halo. And there's my lantern. It's a thin lit lantern, and I'll show you how to build this colorize in an upcoming video, but to save time, I wanted to have it all made. I'm laying things out, getting the lay of the land there. That hello, it's, it's a Tim Holtz Varsity Letters. It's really cool. I'm getting out my mica spray again because, then this is flickering candle, because it would look kind of weird to not have a glow behind the lantern, I thought. So I'm just taking my finger in there and getting a little bit of a warm glow. And that worked out pretty well, I thought. And I'm still kind of messing around with it, trying to see what I was going to do there. And I'm going to glue this lantern down. Sometimes you just got to do it. Make sure that I get the glow by the flame. That would look weird if I didn't. And there we go. I took some vellum and just I'm just putting a little crease there after I get it centered so I know where to tape it in the back so that it's perfectly aligned and we're going to be layering it anyway so you just stick it on with a piece of tape. Super easy. 
Now we come up to my next little blunder. Oh, it's not completely a blunder. I wanted the bird, you know, to kind of hang out on a branch, but there really wasn't a convenient one. So we're not going to tell anybody because we're just going to let them think they're on a branch. But this poor bird is going to have his feet or at least one foot on the top of the lantern, which is probably hot. But they're just, I'm just looking around going, man, what am I going to do? Where's he going to stand? He's got to, he can't just levitate. So he kind of winds up with a foot on the lantern and maybe he's got really tough feet. Somehow I doubt it. We're going to say that he put all his weight on the other foot that's on the branch. What do you think? Then the biggest mistake of all. My nemesis glitter. This is gorgeous Halloween glitter. It is the sparkliest black glitter that you ever saw, but I completely forgot to put it on the lantern before I applied it to the card. So I'm thinking I can handle this, but actually I'm not thinking. I, I do that a lot. And if I think better of it, sometimes I just do it anyway. Uh, I, common sense sometimes escapes me, but you know this has to end badly. And it does. Not so much on the card. Just I had to clean everything. It, it has more static than any glitter I have ever seen. Must be the properties of it. It stuck everywhere and you could tap until the cows come home and it is not leaving. So the only thing you can do with glitter is to let it dry and then brush off the rest. But it's on the candle, it's on the background, it's on the paper, it's on the table. That water mat, it's like glue. It sticks like glue. So after cleaning up the craft, I had to wash, hose down my craft mat because nothing would wipe it off and it was in my hands it was on my clothes now i know why tim holtz does his glittering outside but i got everything brushed off and i thought i'd put some glossy accents in there because i'm not dumb enough to to uh, put that right next to glitter am i yes i am but unfortunately that part worked out so there's a little bit of glossy accents and i managed to take a paintbrush and get the glitter off of the bad spots but look at the backs are coming up. So I just started pulling up the backs. So it kind of worked out. It gave me texture. I got a happy accident. Can you believe it? I just think that is fabulous. I hope you enjoyed this and got a laugh out of it and know that, you know, nothing needs to be perfect. It's handmade, not Hallmark. Follow me on all the social channels, and I hope you click like and subscribe. I'm going to leave some videos you might enjoy. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.